Hi everybody, Jeremy Latchaw with Makatawa Unmanned Systems. Today we are going to go over how to actually install the firmware and then a little bit more about the M210. So the M210 firmware and how to install it. So go down, hit subscribe right now and we'll be right back after you do. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work through uh, updating the firmware, turning it on for the first time, uh, and, and that type. Okay, starting off, and we're going to go back to the desktop here. I'm going to show you where to download the software in order to do the firmware updates for the M200 and the 210. So if you go to DJI.com, you go up to uh, Enterprise here. And then you're going to go down to the uh, then you're going to go down to the M200 series. Click that, and you'll see down a little bit on this page. You'll see downloads. Click on downloads, and it's going to take you to this this part right here. You're going to see software, and that's what we're looking for. So you've got the Assistant Two. Uh, for the Matrice uh, and the Assistant 2 for the Matrice. One is Apple, the DMG, and one is X EXE for uh, Windows. Make sure that you've got the latest. Uh, if you, when you update yours, sometimes, uh, and this has happened in the past, DJI has moved to a different version uh, and it won't recognize your firmware update on, on Assistant 2. It could be because the Assistant 2 is outdated. So make sure you got that. Hit up EXE, and then it's gonna download here. And then once download's done, you're gonna run it. And let's check that out. What you're gonna need is get out your kit. You're gonna want to get out the, the USB to USB. And you're gonna plug the USB in the back of your aircraft. And then you're gonna plug it directly into your laptop. is a very short cable so it's not as easy as it looks so make sure you either get a longer cable which a lot of our clients end up doing uh, USB USB longer cable which actually comes in extremely handy especially in the field you don't have to get your laptop and your 210 extremely close next we're gonna put in the batteries In this case, we're putting the, the uh, 50s in first. You're going to see uh, all green lights, just like any other DJI. Okay, moving over to the desktop, you're going to move down to your installed DJI Assistant 2. You're going to open it up. And you're going to notice that we're not connected. So, I'm going to move back over. I'm going to hit once on the aircraft, twice on the aircraft, and then it starts to cycle through. Once it starts to cycle through, you're going to notice that the USB here will connect to the computer. Once that's done, we should be able to see the M200 series aircraft on connected devices. If we click that. The next part is going to tell me which version of firmware is on the aircraft as well as the batteries and if I have a camera attached it'll pretty much tell me if there's an inconsistent firmware or uh, what I've got going on so in this case the aircraft I know is updated to the current one um, however the batteries didn't exactly go through so we're gonna hit refresh in this case they're gonna be the same thing you'll see that it needs to be updated we're gonna start the update and then we're going to roll through downloading first the actual firmware and then it's going to upload it into the aircraft slash batteries and other accessories. This could take a little while so we're going to speed it up. Once you're getting to the update section you'll hear it it's beeping. 
the yellow lights will be flashing showing that the aircraft is connected to the computer and in DJI Assistant. At one point, the drone itself will restart. So you'll hear it restart and then somewhere in the 90s usually. And then at that point, it'll go to 100 and we should be good. There we go. Lastly, what I normally do is I hit the back button, I look at the current version, and then I look back to see if I'm current on the, on the latest version. So in this case, I am. So that is how you update uh, and maintain firmware. And remember, uh, maintain it on all batteries and cameras. Anytime a new firmware comes out, you're going to have to cycle through all the batteries and update. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching today. This was a great episode in order to help you do your own firmware. So that way, you don't have to call me. Questions, comments, anything else you have, please put it down there in the comment box, and we'll look for it and get right back to you. Once again, thanks for watching. Subscribe. We'll see you later.